They say that stealing an idea from one person is plagiarism, but to steal from a lot of people, that's research. If you've been wanting a way to back up and restore your Windows 365 cloud PCs, now you got it. Over here in the Endpoint Manager portal, go ahead and click the Explore button on the top right. Then you want to click over here on the User Settings. And this is a policy that will allow you to add Restore Points. We're going to add a new setting, and for obvious reasons, let's call it Restore. And if you click the Frequency drop-down over here, you've got a bunch of different options. But you can have 10 Restore Points max. So if you select four hours, you'll be able to go back 40 hours. And if you select 24 hours, you can go back 10 days. You can also select that checkbox and that will allow them to initiate their own restores. And I'm gonna do that, gives the users a little more self-management. And that means it's one less thing they'll call IT for. Now, after you create your user setting, you'll have to wait for that first restore point to be finished. So we'll just go ahead and hit the old fast forward button on the time machine. And now we can take a look at our cloud PC. At the top, you can see that there is a new restore button. Go ahead and click that. And then over here, you wanna pick your point in time you wanna to restore to. And then just click the select button at the bottom. Uh-oh, we've got a warning now. And I think Morpheus said it best. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. This will delete any data, any apps, and any changes between that restore point and now. And you should be really sure before you do this because there is no going back and IT cannot dig into the back end of Windows 365 and retrieve your data. Not gonna happen. So if you're sure you wanna do this, go ahead and click restore. And this will take a few minutes to get processed and ready to go. And then of course the restore itself will take a little bit. In my case, this was done in about 10 minutes. Now, if we go to windows365.microsoft.com, you'll see the user side of the experience, and they've got a banner now over their cloud PC telling them that it's being restored. And of course, the cloud PC will be unavailable until it's finished and the banner changes to say that their cloud PC was restored. Now, remember I said a second ago in their user settings policy that there is an option to allow the users to initiate the restores. Well, here's my user, Maria Hill, and she's one of the business users. And she has the same gear on her cloud PC that those enterprise users have. And when she clicks it, she has the ability to start her own restore. So to verify that you really want to go ahead, you need to check that box and then click the drop down and pick your restore point. Then click restore and then she'll see the same banner on top of her cloud PC when it's restoring and when it's done so she knows that she can log back in. Now, if you're enjoying content like this that gives you fast and free solutions so you can learn more about the cloud, become a learner by clicking that subscribe button today. Now, what do you do if you need to restore part of or an entire environment? Like you have a cloud PC lab or a classroom that needs to be reset, or your whole environment just got hit by ransomware and everything's locked down and you gotta pay somebody some of that sweet Bitcoin to get it all back. Well, I'd tell them, take a walk, buddy, as I'm not paying you squat. And you can do it all with the new restore in bulk feature. Now, if you go to all your devices or all your Windows devices and click at the top on that bulk actions link, then select the Windows OS and in the device actions dropdown, select restore. Now you have to pick a date and a time. And you might be thinking, how's this gonna work? Because each one of these cloud PCs has different restore points. Glad you asked. The next dropdown, you can choose to have the cloud PC pick a restore point that is before or after the date and time that you set. Or you can pick this one that's gonna pick whichever's closest. And when you've made your choice, click next. Now click that link over there to select the cloud PCs you wanna target for restore. And you can type in the search box or you can add extra filters and find the right PCs and then click on them and then select at the bottom. Click next and now you can verify the list of PCs that it is exactly the right list because as Morpheus said, after this there is no turning back. And now you've beaten the bad guys. You've gotten your lab or your classroom restored and you can get on doing what you do. And if this was a help to you or you learned something new, I'd appreciate you clicking the like button and sharing this video with three friends, which then will command the YouTube overlords to suggest this video to more people so everyone can be a learner. Speaking of which, you do know the difference between on-prem and Microsoft managed networks for Azure AD Join, don't you? You better watch this one. It's the hottest feature in Windows 365. Happy learning.